Hello and welcome to Shaolin Videos. Uh, main point of this video is to show you how Gwyn Bell dies. As you can see, he has zero deaths, and that is about to change. So my character here, Lucky, he is a higher level and uh, part of a clan and has a base. And this is late into the sea, day 342. I believe the seed only lasts till about 361, I can't remember, but it didn't last, I think it was maybe over 400, yeah, it got to about 400, so the seed didn't last very long, but it, uh, it was a strong seed, as in, it had a lot of players, it usually had uh, up to 50 people at the beginning, and at one time it had about 70 people. And uh, when we had reserve slots, but then reserve slots were taken out. And uh, yeah, I mean, at this point, the server would go up to about 45 people on average at, at in the evening. And it would cap out to about 30 players, you know, on average. And it would just go fluctuate from 40, 30 to 40, usually. So if there was a lot of players on, uh, you would just go out and you would just roam and you'd find some players. They'd be, uh, you know, in the towns, near big POIs, or, um, you know, at the traders. And when you find the players, then you can engage in PvP, and there's a possibility of loot. And uh, what I like to do is I usually like to loot on the way, you know, I'd still loot POIs and find loot along the way, um, and, and along with uh, the loot you find from players. So. Right here, as you can see, this is going to be a video mainly about how I killed Gwynbeld, but also at the same time, it's going to show some gameplay of a high-level player on NA PvP, just to show, I guess, the day in the life of uh, a PvPer. So, I mean, nobody really came to raid us last uh, seed on this one. So when when people don't really want to come to your base to raid you, you have a lot of opportunity to run. You know, as long as you're checking back on your base every hour or so. Um, when I depot my stuff at my base, you know, it's a good chance to check to see if anyone's around and check on defenses or whatever. But it gives you some freedom to go, to, go out there and just find PvP. And because our base was so massive and... Uh, so well defended that nobody really wanted to raid it we just i would just like go and roam uh the cities to see if i could find players and you know, just engage in pvp rather than doing the whole base defense thing because a lot of people do spend a lot of time at their base and like i said i, I would gyro back you know every once in a while but at the same time when you're not really worried about your base getting raided as much as you know just a hole in the ground then you're able to go around and just enjoy the game and have some fun, you know, just have, look for some PvP. So that's kind of like the gameplay that you're going to see in this video is just me, you know, out and about looking for players on like an average day. And I'm not sure what time of day this is in, you know, in real time, but the server has been going along for a long time. 342 days, so it's, you know, it's a few weeks anyway. So as you can see, I'm jumping a lot in, uh, in the field to look to see if there's any players in the distance. Because the render distance on the server is at a medium, it's not the full render distance. So when people come into view, I'm trying to see if I can see them above all the grass and in the render distance it just helps to jump past the terrain to see you know if there's any players off in render distance of me so it's kind of like a widespread uh, view of the the landscape 360 around me so i do like to check pois when i'm roaming anyways just to see whether as you can see this one's looted all the books are gone and when the zombies do aggro me, I do like to put a, a melee weapon in my hand and attack them rather than uh, shoot because if you shoot, you're going to get away your location and then uh, other players nearby in the town will know that I'm here. I'm trying to be as stealthy as I can. 
so people are coming by the house with still feel the zombies and everything, but in a certain vicinity. Otherwise, you know, the shots are kind of a wider vicinity in this, in this town, and someone could just easily run towards your location. So I'm always looking around to see, you know, is there any players um, looking at me from a corner or from a POI? And there's so many spots that a player could be hiding, so it's just always trying to keep aware. And as I'm coming over to this spot, it looks like I found a base. Yeah, there's definitely somebody in there with uh, a junk turret. He's upgrading something. And now that I think that, um, think back to it, there's a, there's a reason why I came over here. I was here to help because this guy was getting raided. And I was trying to kill the actual raiders that were here doing the raiding. So they're somewhere in this town, and I'm looking for them. And he looks like he got messed up pretty bad. So when there's when there's action, then you, you tend to want to come and, and help. You know, obviously get some kills, but you know, the recent player is getting attacked. And also helping him survive another day. You know, because I'm not going to raid him, he's too easy and he needs to build up. As you can see here, Gwynbeld left the game and I didn't notice this the first time I played the game, but he must have seen me or something in combat log or something, I don't know. But for whatever reason, he's left the game right now. And, and our faithful admin, Grandpa Minion, he's usually always here, he'll come in and say hi. So I guess it's, it, we're playing in the evening, so this might have been the evening of this day that I'm playing. So yeah, I'm just checking around the POIs, and you gotta love parkour, because you can jump around the POIs so nicely. Uh, beginning, beginning of the game is so hard, because you don't have the parkour ability, but now that you have parkour late game, it makes life so much easier. So I like to check around these uh, tier 5 POIs, they're uh, the factory, and uh, there's, there's three different designs, but they're all tier 5, and players usually like to come here um, to kill zombies or to loot the, the crates at the top, and also you can reset them with quests. So a lot of players will do the, the tier 5 um, POIs, and they're good to find some PvP action. Looks like this town is a little bit looted, but there's also um, like the possibility of killing players. I'm not really here to loot, mainly just to kill. But if I find some loot along the way, I usually go for it. There's also a trader in this town, as you can see. So that means there's going to be a lot, of, you know, uh, a lot of players near these two areas. If there is any players around here. The trader is closed right now, so there wouldn't be any players inside there. And as I'm watching this video back and commenting on it, I noticed that I didn't even have my sniper rifle loaded at this moment. Yes, I now fail. So I decided to keep this video on um, the raw, unedited version of just me roaming, because it, it'll show the like kind of the what day in the life of uh, a high level PvP player is like on uh, NA PvP.
And if I edit it just with all the all the other stuff, you know, you kind of miss out on what what you know the day in the life is like to be on NA PvP higher level, you know, just playing the end game PvP. I see a couple players here. I have no idea where that other player went, so I'm just going around. Then I hear a door close. So I'm like, okay, he's inside here. Y'all some hoes, yeah. He seems to have some uh, words with me on the voice chat. Before he died, he was able to say that. And I'm just checking to see if they have any teammates around. Doesn't look like they do. sure because usually when players have the teammates around they can usually get, make a comeback and then get their bag so I'm just making sure there's no other teammates around And as as you can see, he's kind of salty about. He's saying I'm sitting outside the trader. I'm just like, no, I just left your stuff. Now he thinks I'm gonna camp his bag, so I'm gonna reassure him. I didn't even notice that there was somebody outside. I can hear them. So now I hear somebody outside. It's like, where is this guy? So I gotta get to the high ground and see where, where is this dude? Where is he? So I'm looking around this building. I know I heard somebody. Where is this dude? Panicking, like, where is this dude? He's got to be around here somewhere. Looking all over, I heard, I heard. Is it the server lag, or I know I heard somebody being extra careful going around this building. Oh, there he is! Did you see that? I'm using a grenade. A grenade to a gunfight. Oh, Gwynbeld. Shit. Alright, heal up. At this moment, my heart is pounding. <laughs> wow, so yeah, I just killed Gwynbeld. His first death. And yeah, my heart is just beating at this moment. I'm like, holy crap, is he gonna come back? Is he gonna try and get his stuff back? Let's just get his stuff quick. Grab the good stuff. I don't really need all this stuff. I just grab the higher level stuff. Stuff that you, you know, consumables, money, gas, vehicles. I always like to take the ghillie suit, it's like a trophy. Uh, just ammo, food, whatever I can use. I guess you shouldn't have thrown a grenade. You're trying to be all sneaky. And I saw you. I saw a Gwynbeld. No wonder he was surviving for so long. He was logging in and out, being careful. 
killing people very sneakily with a ghillie suit. And I finally got him. He was trying to, he was trying to kill me. He was behind that rock. He was, he was ready to kill me. And if, if I didn't get him, he would have got me. That's for damn sure. With zero deaths, he was, that Gwynbell guy was not fucking around. Definitely. So I'm just checking here to see if, uh, you know, somebody's still coming around. See if old Gwynny's coming back to his bag or not. And, uh... You know, I promised those other noobs that I probably would leave the the area. But I'm kind of left here looking out for Gwynbeld. Alright, I'm probably safe to leave. Oh, that's, that's the same guy. Can't be letting someone know my location. It's kill on sight. That's what this game is about. A lot of people don't agree with it, but that's how you get top score, and that's how you get. Uh, that's how you stay alive, basically. Because you know, if people don't get back to their bag, you know, they can't get a gun and come back at you. I, I did promise these guys that I would leave. I just need to be able to get out of here. So. The server is a little bit laggy, so he's kind of standing in place there. There's no way he can get away from me. I have parkour. Where is this guy? Is he here? No. no, no. Is he here? No. Alright, is, is he here? Where'd he go? Oh, he, he went that way. He didn't even go in there. So as you can see, the server is going to lag again. There's a combat lag when the it starts to lag. So I have to respawn, or sorry, reload my game. And once you restart the game, the, that kind of lag goes away. So yeah, this guy's calling me a liar for not uh, leaving him alone. So I'm like... Blame Gwyn Beld. He left me here. I'm just letting him know I'm actually leaving now and I left all your bags. And I'm actually leaving for good. There you go.